Hello everybody, it's LinkJack20. Welcome back to Let's Play Dust and Legend Tale. In the last part, I finally unlocked the slide ability, so I'm actually going to go back to this glade and see... Because I just realized that there's actually an alternate ending... Uh, ending, sorry. Alternate entrance, again. So I'm going to go see if I can use the slide power up there, and... Oh, that was quick. Do I have a key? Yes, I do. This better be the last one I need. I don't want to have to come back here. Okay, some cupcakes. I think that's new armor, so let's check that out. Hang on. Ah, again, it's worse than what I already have. What is the point? Mm. It'd be, I think it'd be kind of cool if each treasure chest was guaranteed to have at least something better than what you already own. That way, you know, you wouldn't be going traipsing out your way for nothing. But hey! Stone bug, that's always fun. No matter. Let's just see if there's maybe anything else cool. I know it only says the dot there, but maybe I can use this as like an entrance to like find cooler things. Uh, oh hey, it's back with the first treasure chest I found. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave now if that's cool with everybody. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, next thing on the list. Um, oh yeah, Fidget mentioned that the. Uh, the merchant in Aurora Village might have some materials to make a doll to give to Smobop back in Mudpot. Basically, it's something to trade to get Reed's box back from her. So I'm going to go to Aurora Village and talk to the merchant, see if we can get ourselves a fidget doll. Get that made, go back, get Reed's box, give it back to Reed, never have to deal with this horrific Advent Children-like character again. Welcome back. You have any children's toys? Do you sell children's toys? Or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. Figures. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. Well, I got some. I gotta say, Dust. I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. Oh, quiet, you. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. I don't know you anymore. Ah, excellent. You've brought all the materials. Would you like me to make oh, the doll now? Oh, second. Th no, go for Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh. Well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Uh, okay, there. Done. See how well I've captured every new one. Um, uh, I don't know about... See? You can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. There's no neck. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here. You stick. Give him that. There. He's professional about it all. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area. I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. True, true. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. Hey, hey! Don't diss the hat. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. Oh. No, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. All right. I'm not talking to you anymore. So be it. We got a better fidget, I guess. Ain't that adorable. So... Welcome back. I'm gonna see if I can actually sell off some materials I have. You know, the usual business. Do I have anything? Uh, oh, Florin tentacles. This is the last thing I need to... I think that's all the ones I can catalog. But yeah, these are all the materials I need. Slimy spike. You honor. I think this is all the, the things I need to get to... Give to what? Give to what is? What's his name in the front of the village? I forget his name all the time. I don't know why. I'll learn in a second though. Here are those materials. Fail. You that's asked it. For fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, 
I could use your help again. Of course. Those hides you provided worked out great. But I'd like to reinforce their armor with materials from those hulking giants out there. Oh, jeez. If you could bring two giant rocks and two giant cores, we'd be all set. I'll pay you way more than you'd get by selling it to the shopkeeper. But only that one time. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If oh my gosh, how many of these quests are again? there? Those reinforcements really help strengthen the guard's armor. Uh -huh. But now it's a bit too rigid. I'd like to add some flexibility using a few materials you can only find on flying pink obvies. Uh huh. Let me see. Uh, six Avi wings and six Avi claws to do the trick. I'll pay you for the work, of course. All right. Uh, how many Avi wings and claws do I have, actually? I can check that in the store anyway. But I do know I have both those materials cataloged. I have the. So I'm just gonna. You. Hang on, I'll just check right now. Freedom of movement, six and six. Okay, I just need five more claws. Okay. Simple math. Welcome it's awesome, isn't it? Let's just get the five claws. Done. You are and I still got plenty of gold to spare in case I ever need to buy anything else. This better be the last thing you need, and this armor better be like freaking impenetrable and invul invincible armor here. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, oh my I could goodness. use your help Okay, again. what is it? I've got one last job for you. Finally, you? there's a strange flying creature called a florn that lives around these parts. Uh -huh. It can shoot balls of electricity from its tentacles. I've seen a them. Real nasty customer. Not really. I beat him. If you could gather three florn tentacles and three florn sparks, I can use them to reinforce our guards' armor and give their weapons a bit of an extra kick. I'll pay a premium for them that you won't get from the shops around here. Why do I get the feeling that even though I'm helping him with all these upgrades, I'm never once going to see any of them do anything with it? <sighs> Find the spot, please, indeed. For some reason, I feel like their nauseating station would get a kick out of that, but I have the best. Of yes, yes. I just need tentacles. More than one, preferably. Crap. Hey, small bomb. Vigidol, right here. Okay, Smobop, here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. Let's see if it was that so bad and creepy. Alright, now let's just head back up to Reed. And hand him this box. Where, where is this dang thing? Oh, there it is. Yeesh. Let's get this Reed now. Yo, Reed! Got your weird box thingy. You found it! Quickly, give it to me. Okay, okay. Relax, Reed. It's just a box. Yeah. Just a box? No, no, it's not just a box. Didn't you hear it whispering no. to you? The whispers. Uh -uh. The lies. I'll say. They told me the box was filled with cupcakes. I opened it up and nothing was inside. What? Oh, oh no, no, no. You opened the box. Why did you open the box? I told you not to open the box. Quick, take it back. Wait, 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 no. What's going to happen? Hey, what are you doing? I thought you wanted your box back. I went through a lot of trouble getting that. Yeah, we had to find this girl in Mutt Bar and then make her a doll that looked like me, then trade the doll for the box. Honestly, it was a bit yeah. random. Do you know what you've done? You've unleashed the power inside this ancient prison, and now it will consume your very yeah, soul. Yeah, right. Okay, Reed, I really think it's time you went inside and got some sleep. I think... Wait. What's happening to me? There's something... something wrong with me! Reed, what was that? What's going on? I feel... I feel... weak. Like something's sucking the life right out of my body. Then it's already started. What? Oh, why did you have to open the box? I said not to open the box! No, no, what's box. happening? Look, let's not dwell on the whole who opened the box thing. The box was open. That's in the past. We can't... Fidget? We should be focusing on the future, and you know, less about me. The presence inside this box, 
It latches onto your soul, tries to take over your mind. The only way to stop it is to break the barrier between body and you soul. You mean... In other words, Dust, you will need to kill yourself. Raid! It really is the only way, Dust. You mustn't take too long, or... or you could end up like me. You know what? I love this plan. I'm happy to be a part of it. <sighs> Shut up, Fidget! I can feel my life draining away every moment. Raid, what do I have to do? Travel outside the village, pick a fight with some monsters, and lose. If you do it in time, the presence latched onto your soul will be shaken loose and returned to the box, and you will return back to your normal self. That is, assuming you do it in time. Dust, you can't seriously be considering. Fidget, I don't have time to argue. I can feel it draining my life away. We need to get out of the village and fast! Right, 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 we'll do, we'll do. Let's move, let's move. Ah, freak! So this thing's constantly doing damage to me. Ah, oh, crap, I... There's not enough time to go there. I'm gonna have to go underground. I'll fight one of the... I'll fight one of the monsters down there. Something. Ow. Hey, Augustine, no time, no time to talk. Go on, just keep moving. Just don't get knocked back or anything. I can do this. No, no, come on. There we go. Make it. Oh, crap. Can't believe that doesn't crack my spine right there. Hit me. Okay, that was good enough. I need you to hit me again. There you go. One more time, please. Just anything. Just ow. No, I'm going to take damage to this guy. There we go. Come on, hit me one last time. One last time. That's all I need you to do. Come on. No. Don't do this. Did that do it? Are you okay now? I think so. Yeah. As soon as I took that killing blow, I felt something like a weight lifted. We should check in with Reed. All right. Yeah. The sooner you get rid of that box, the better. No, you don't get to touch it. Thank you, Mr. Giant. I can't thank you enough. Sorry about that. We both were just victims of circumstance. Right, Fidget? Let's just give it back to him and never have to deal with this ever again. Hey, Augustine. Still no time to talk. Sorry. I'm, I'm just not a people person when it comes to getting rid of supernatural objects that can kill me. Right. Man, I thought it was a goner there for sure. Here, take it! You were right, Reed. Somehow that killing blow managed to shake the presence free. I'm back to my normal self again. I'm glad that's the case. Anyway, I was planning on using this revival stone on you if my plan didn't work. But it should still serve as an adequate reward. A come again? Wait, what do you mean if your plan didn't work? Well, it did, didn't it? So now I have no use for this revival stone, and you can take it. Hopefully you'll never have to use it. Yes, well, you keep that box under lock and key. We're just lucky that kid down in Mudpod had the common sense not to open it. I will never let it out of my sight again. It's my burden to bear, after all. Good luck, Dust. What else whispers to me? No. No, it can't be. The trees? The trees themselves whisper an ancient song. Somebody must chop them all down to silence their lies. Goodbye, Reed. May our paths never cross again. Ever. Ever. Ah, <sighs> sheesh. Oh. Hey. I'm not sure what you did, but Gian is back to his old self again. Hey, I want to give him the watch. No problem, anytime. Hey, two revival stones, not too shabby. Got three of them now. So, now I'm covered for three deaths in case I end up being stupid or something. Let's see, Blop has asked me for ten rock hound teeth. Uh, let's probably check in and see if I can get any more. I have the best. Yeah, and more florin tentacles if I can. Oh, nice. Way more. Okay, so yeah, give me two. Thank you for coming. Let me just get rid of this quest out of the way, and then I'll be... I'll be done here in Aurora Village soon. Sorry, buddy, for all this backtracking and whatnot. I know I'm promising to try and get this all into one big backtrackathon or something, but... Fail. No matter. Great. Here's your payment. I think that's it. 
I have everything I need thanks to you. You do realize there's only those two guards that I've seen in the front of the village. My goodness, makes no sense whatsoever. Hey. I am I need some raw count teeth. There we go. Ten raw count teeth. Let's just give it to that what's his name? The old guy. I don't even know his name anymore, but you know the guy. The guy with all the creepy quests and things. No matter. Let's just give him these teeth and hopefully never have to do another fetch quest from again. Here's ten raw count teeth, Blop. I'm sure your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blob he can't eat corn no more. I think that's it. Well, goodbye, Blop. May I never have to work for you again. Man, I'm just saying goodbye to people I don't want to work with anymore. It's just too much hassle trying to deal with them. Right. You don't pose much of a threat to me, Mr. Rock Gollum. I'm sorry. Rock Hound, please. All they try and do is ambush you. Because they know they're weak uh, as a single unit. So I have to come in. So clear the way, everybody. Ooh, slime mail blueprint. I think I already have some though. Like, I think that's what I'm wearing, I think. It just looks familiar. Actually, no, no, it's not. But it's still worse than the wetsuit. Ah, the wetsuit I got like two areas ago, and it's still one of the best things I've got. There's a balance problem here somewhere. Ah, no matter. It's protecting me. I can't complain. It's not like I'm forced to get the bad armor. Seriously, I, I get a choice, and I certainly appreciate that. I like being able to use the improved armor. Right. Oh my goodness. Sorry, you guys scared me there for a second. Jeez. Well, not really scared, but startled me. And you kind of need to realize that when I get startled, I also tend to use Fidget's firepower to immediately ignite these things. Doesn't make me a pyro, just makes me very well prepared. Hello, Mr. Merchant. I'm gonna use this rock to blow up that wall for a second. Let's see if I can hit it over here. Come on, come on. Dang it. I thought for sure I could take it out from this side. And there's a key up there! Ah, I won't be able to reach it here with the amount of height I get currently. And then this wall here keeps me from getting it the other way. Here, let me get that bomb through one more time. There you are. Looks like I'm going to have to come back here for that key. Figures. There you go. Where's the chicken? Got it. Oh, Mr. Florin trying to be all sneaky and ambush me. Yeah, not a chance. I think I might have to end it here, it looks like, because I'm coming up on the... Over 20 minutes now without editing, so I'm probably going to have to edit this down, all the some of the, you know, moving back and forth. Let me... Ah, what should I do? I'm going to check the merchant. Hang on. I am... Yes, I know you're here to serve. Just give me something better, a better augment. Nothing really? Any better armor? Oh, the miner's gear? Sure, give me that. And, uh... Master Ring of Vigilance. Three times item drop. Oh my gosh. Okay. And 1.2%. Okay, so hang on. Let me get one of these. At least, no, two. No, no, one for now. I'll buy a second one if I need to later. Your trend. Then I can just equip both of them and just go to town if I need some quick items. So let's get the miner's gear on. And... Ooh, yeah, upgrade from the 1.5 to the 3 times item drop. So there you go. Alright, I'm Lucky Jack 20 doing Let's Play Dust Legion Tale. See you all later.